Mike got qualifying and that meant less time on the track for our celebrities. And as anyone that's ever raced in Long Beach, every lap out here is precious to get to know the track. So considering they lost all that time, I thought it was a phenomenal race out there today. Uh, can we get started right now? If you've got any questions for our drivers, feel free to ask. And by the way, we do have, uh, raise your hand please so that uh, we can get a mic to you. First question for our drivers. Yes, sir, you up front with the hat. Go ahead, you with the hat. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> uh, did uh, all of these guys come from the Bay Beach uh, Bay Beach, uh, and five cannons that are preparing for this uh, ruling challenge? <laughs> uh, it, you know, every race you do probably helps the next race, but those are old school rear wheel drive cars with no technology in them. These are new school front wheel drive cars with a lot of technology. So on, on one hand, just the actual vintage racing does help you in the celebrity racing, but the technology is so different, the cars are so different that it probably doesn't help you that much. And then the final, uh, what was your uh, toughest part during the course of the race? Well, the toughest part was probably somewhere around lap five or lap six where I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw about you know eight or ten car lengths between me and whoever was in second place at that time. And I remember thinking to myself, all right, just drive your, drive your line, do what you do, you'll be fine, there's five laps left, do not worry about the person behind you. And then the yellow flag came out and everyone came back up, and then I cracked my pants again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Our right, next question, right up here in front. Well, uh, I, Lewis Hamilton is a good buddy of mine, and, and he actually texted me before the race. He's in China about to race, and he said, how did you do a qualifying? And I texted him back, I said, uh, you know, I didn't, I, there was no qualifying because it was rain, so they took our practice time, so I'm starting way back. And he said, well, shit, I'm, or shoot. He said, he's got the same problem. He had a gearbox issue, they gave him five. He, he, he qualified second in China, but they gave him a five, five place penalty, so he's starting seventh um, tomorrow. And so he, he said, he texted me, he said, man, we're both gonna have to move up. And I said, yeah, well, we're gonna move up to the I have, a, I have a question for Hill Harper. Uh, <laughs> where the hell did you come from? <laughs> all the instruction. I just attempted to learn from my instructors. Uh, they, they are awesome, and they, and they literally got. And then just put your foot on the gas and brake later than everybody else. That's, that's it. <laughs> you know, when their brake lights show, you drive by. <laughs> Let's repeat that question. Where the hell do you come from? Where are you from? I learned first hand. Yes. Next question. Go ahead. Anyone? Anyone? You don't have to have a go to ask a question either. Yes. You can just throw it out. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Hello, this is for Mr. Corolla. Now you have, you know, the elusive championship that you've been waiting for. Where are you going to put that trophy? Um, well, I was going to bring it over to your pad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know with uh, Jägermeister, <laughs> I mean, listen, I mean, my wife and kids are here, but they're nowhere near this first count. Come on by, we're going to fail. Look at the Meister and have a shot. A real taste of victory. Uh, and it's a substantial trophy. I was, I was excited. I, I had no idea. It's like... Uh, it was really, really nice, and uh, yeah, I've done it three times, and it was uh, great to win on my third. Yes, sir. Uh, when were you aware that Hill was not going to let up, that he uh, wanted to win as badly as you Well, you know, um, honestly, the way you do these things is you sort of break them off into, I mean, I think we do it the same way the U.S. does, which is other nations that pose a threat, versus nations we don't really have to care about. <laughs> I was worried about, you know, Brody Jenner, and I was worried about Adrian Brody, and I was worried about Eddie, and I was worried about a lot of guys named Brody, and a handful of guys, 
And I looked down the thing and I saw Hill's name and I said, well, that's one nation that's not making a nuclear bomb. Like, <laughs> I don't have to worry about him. So, uh, okay, there's, the there's, there's five or six guys you worry about, and then all of a sudden he got some enriched uranium at some point. <laughs> and I, I was going into turn, I don't know, eight, and I felt a nice bump on the back of my car, and I looked yeah. up and it said, Hill on there, and I, and I know it's going to sound horrible, my first impulse was, did I lack that guy? <laughs> my, my second was, no, I didn't lack that guy. Where the hell did he come from? And then I realized, he'd been, he'd been sandbagging it, and uh, he turned the fastest lap of all the, uh, of all the pros. I must say, that's the one thing I'm most proud of. I, yeah. I, the, I, the fastest single lap turn today was uh, by a celebrity. <laughs> So I that was the fastest celebrity lap. Oh, who had it? That was Hill. Oh, Hill, yeah. I will think about that every time I polish my crystal. Do I have to I want to get some comments from uh, what Brody was Tanner about? down there at the end, because Brody obviously was involved in our uh, biggest mishap of the day, but... Uh, Brody, you started in the uh, fourth row, and this was maybe victimized by the fact that we didn't have qualifying. Can I stop you there? Now, in theory, he started on the fourth row. Yeah. What are you saying, Raleigh? Well, a lot of people, when they do a start, uh, they start at the same time as other people, not not just before it. <laughs> because I was like, hey, there's a guy waving the flag to go. There went Brody. <laughs> so tell us, what was it like, in theory, starting on the fourth row? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Brody, Brody, uh, Brody, uh, Brody, uh, they drop the flag. Yeah, that's where I was looking. I mean, the coaches tell you, you just keep your eye up on, you know, up on the flag. And as soon as I saw that thing waving, I don't think everybody was looking up there because I got on the gas and I had a really good run, and I just went for it. And I, you know, I really wanted to get up to where these guys were racing, so I did that. And the first turn was good. Everything was great in the first turn, but you know, three laps in, something else happened. Yeah. Uh, so can you tell us exactly what did happen? Yeah, tell us. I was behind you, so tell tell us right when did it start. This is my second go, and I thought, look out, Corolla. Brody is coming to the front with a vengeance. No. Then what happened? My <laughs> recollection of the events. Uh, I had a really good run out of the turn and the straightaway, and you know, I think we got on the third lap. So, you know, there was Eddie, and he had his fender was flat. So during the straights, like he, you know, he was kind of, he was he was dragging a little bit. So I went forward, had his inside, and this guy gave me a little word of advice before the thing. He said, give him a little nudge, you know, if, if, you know, if you're on the inside, you're going to <laughs> So he said, and then they'll know you're serious, and they'll, they'll back off. And he goes, so I, I gave him a little nudge, and, uh, and he didn't back off. So, so I knew we were going into the turn too fast, so I backed off, and you know, I, he hit the wall. We came in the turn, and I, you know, I don't think if he was there. I think I would have made the turn, but uh, he hit the wall, and unfortunately, he bounced off and hit me and took me to the wall. So it's racing, though. You know? Everybody got to see a good crash. So that's what I'm most proud of. Only person that I've ever seen wrecked that the next time everybody came by was giving like a little hey, bro. <laughs> This guy's got so much love for us. That was what was so cool. I thought, you know, I was behind it, and I saw what I saw him do Frederick's move to bang and give him a little tap. And he thought, my ass, you're going to tap me. And he said, let me show you what Frederick told me. And then he came out there, and that was the moment that I lifted so that I did not get caught on that melee, too. And I watched the whole thing, and it was like Eddie saw someone he knew in the crowd. And when he went to wave, he turned violently to the right, and that, that was it. But sweet kid to wave after that. the worst of all of that. I gotta say though, I mean, <laughs> contrary, contrary to what you guys might believe right now, I had a pretty clean race. <laughs> uh, but I had to pick one battle, and that was with UFC champ Kane Velasquez, so I'm kind of nervous right now, because I don't know when it's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I want to get from uh, Kate right now. Kate, uh, we had three ladies in the race this year. You finished first amongst the ladies. I know that you and Jillian have a... Uh, <laughs> well, it was a bit of a rival, but you guys, uh, she had been in the race before, and so she sort of had that experience, so... Yeah. Which is not fair, already. 
No, exactly. <laughs> right? But what is it like for you to be out with these guys, especially with the carnage? I love them all very, very much. And it's, it, you know what, in a moment, the best thing that happened to me is, uh, uh, I think Jim, or, I don't know, one of the pros was in front of me. So for me, what's, uh, that was the best part, because I'm just like following him all the time. And then Aiden brought, no, and then, yeah, no, he passed him, and then I was behind Aiden Brody, and, uh, and then I crashed in the last lap and, uh, for the tire, so stupid, in the last one, so, well, I kissed him. We have more questions. Let's uh, right over here. This gentleman right over here. Hi, Kate. Uh, were, you, were you surprised of the race you made? And uh, how does it feel to compete with these big guys here, especially the first time? I know it's it's. Intimidating, of course, and uh, you know I'm a woman, and I know that <laughs> it's it's just weird because um, there's just one fine line, and if you pass that, it, it's a little fear. But once you pass it, it's just like so it opens, everything opens, and uh, this guy's have been really, really nice because they give you like I mean they really give you advice, and uh, that's the way that's the way we we actually drive in Mexico. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I get a light speeding, but yeah. So, no, okay. Did you have any pressure? Because you have, you know, you have a lot of. I'm people. very competitive, so I hate that when they're like. Do you have a lot of, so, a lot of Hispanic here? You know, a lot of people that. I know a lot of people. So you feel pressure with that? You know? Yes, always. Now I feel no, of course not. not I love it that they're here. No, my, my fans were out there. They were banners and stuff like that. So that's, that's, no, that's amazing. I love it. You can come back? I would love to. I would love to. Yes. Next question, right over here at the end. Adam, which was scarier, Celebrity Apprentice or Racing at the Long Beach? <laughs> <laughs> Trump's hair was not here. <laughs> <laughs> it was not that could contain that hair. So it would not be a lot of rest. Um, you, know, I, you know, people tell me all the time, like, uh, you know, was it fun? Was it fun doing celebrity apprentice? Was it fun doing dancing with stars? Answer, no. No fun. No fun practicing dancing five hours a day, and no fun doing, you know, six days a week, 14 hours uh, each day. And um, it's not fun, it's an experience. And you know, if you want to have fun, get a six pack of Mickey's Big Mouth and go to Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> but this is an experience, and the experiences last longer than fun. So for me, uh, my approach is let's look for the experiences in life and not the fun. And the fun comes with the experience, but uh, don't just look to have fun, look to have an experience. It's just been fun. Oh, scarier, sorry. I said 20 minutes on experience. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, this to me is, you know, I, I, I feel natural in the car, feels good in the car, and uh, I enjoy it in the car. So this is uh, being in the uh, showroom is much better than being in the boardroom. That is fantastic. <laughs> Another question, anybody? We have any more questions out here? If you want to ask, uh, if anybody wants to ask bad questions, Adam is happy to pretend it was yesterday and heckle you like he did. <laughs> 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 I just had a question for uh, Hill Harbor. Yes. Um, what was the most challenging part of the course for you? Um, the most challenging part was actually when Kim Coach wrecked the hairpin because I really felt like a lot of drivers didn't get that turn right and I really felt that where I was able to make some time was that hairpin and so the last few laps the car was, his car was sitting right there in the middle of it and so it was hard for me to get a run off that turn and so the, the I wish it wasn't he obviously didn't for his help, I wish he wouldn't have crashed. Um, I don't know what happens that happened behind me, but but he's fine. So that we know what happened. Yeah. <laughs>
No, I saw that. It sucked too. Both big racks, right? It. it sucked. I saw it. That tells about it, brother. Uh, he was driving and then he was on the wall like that. <laughs> That, that, that did change a lot of things there. When you have a car, I don't remember that we had a car, especially at the end of a race, sitting right at the point of the hairpin, uh, which is, uh, is, as you said, Hill, that's an area where we've seen past before if you negotiated uh, effectively. So. And, you, and it's a yellow flag, so you can't pass there anyway. Right. Any more questions? Great. One more question over here? Yes, sir. My name is uh, Kane with World uh, Television TV, and my question is for Adam. Now that you won the uh, the Grand Prix, do you think Toyota might uh, consider you for uh, their car for the uh, Toyota Corolla? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I got to no disrespect to uh, Toyota, but my name is C A R O L L A. Everyone spells it C O R O L L A because it's on the back of you know the world's best selling compact car for the last thirty years. And they've really been the main of my existence. No, I uh, listen. I, I I think you know it, it's one of these things where you know being a celebrity offers you some you know perks, and then there's some downside. Like uh, you know, obviously it's great to do some cer certain things, and it sucks to do others, but. This is definitely one of the perks of being a celebrity. This is absolutely by far.